Hey you guys, it's Zoe at Chestnut Hills Farmstead and I've got Chance with me and Miss Tanya at Hidden Valley Farms, the one who has been doing the bees for Cog Hill Farm and the one that I went and helped her do some hive inspections a few weeks back. We are headed to her farm and we are going to draw honey. I'm super excited. I don't really know what to expect because I've never seen it done before, but I am looking forward to this, this new adventure that I'm going to do and you guys are going to come go with us. So let's go and meet Miss Tanya at her place. <music> Tanya has Hidden Valley uh, Farm in Clanton here and she is the bee lady. She's the know-it-all of the bees and she is our go-to and she is teaching me everything I know. If you watched my bee video before, that's the same lady. We're meeting her here at her beautiful farm with this pretty awesome cabin. And we are going to be extracting honey today. So we are kind of looking forward to that and it's going to be fun. And we're gonna learn a lot. All right, so this is option one. So option one is gonna hang down to about right there. So your knees are gonna be covered. So let me just tell you, did your mama tell you about bees? About why you're supposed to act around bees? Very calm. You don't do this. What happens when you do that? Who sings you on the head? Yeah. Or right there. Everywhere. Yeah. So if, I got stung on the head once. So yeah. if you'll just be calm, they'll yeah. be calm. But if you get scared, don't run. Or just there. walk or away there. from them. So if you'll just walk calmly, like to some shade, they really don't like shade. Mm -hmm. So you want to try this on, and we'll see if you like this option or the other option. Or the other option. The other option will be head to toe. But it will be really big on you. When, yeah. when we get ready to work the bees, we'll put this over and then we'll zip it up so none of them can get you. Yep. So that's option one. You good with that? Option one hangs down pretty good. It got your socks covered. Mm -hmm. So worst case scenario, the only place the bees can get you is on your socks. Yep. Okay? Okay, you guys, I am here with Miss Tanya at Hidden Valley Farms, and she was very gracious enough to let Chance and me come out here with her while she is going to harvest honey today. And we are super excited, and she's got Chance all fixed up in his own little outfit. And we are taking you guys with us. All right, see you soon. Letting the smoker go right now. Get good and heated. That kind of sounds like my honey coming right there. No, that's I mean, what I mean, my husband. I love you. Yeah, I call him honey. All right, so we're going to put this on. And you said you wanted to smoke them. So you'll just squeeze this real gently. See how the smoke just puffs out? Bit. All right, hold the yellow part. So you're in charge of that. And I'll tell you when, and you'll just aim it on top of the frames and give them just two or three little puffs. All right, so Tanya, tell us what we're doing. All right, so we're getting ready to harvest honey. So what we're going to do is we got these things called fume boards. Let me make sure I can see. And um, so it's the same size as a super, but half half the depth. And it's got a piece of metal on one side and then a piece of felt on the other. And we're going to get this stuff called Be Quick that you can buy. And it's right behind you. Okay, it's called Be Quick. Fisher's Be Quick to advertise for them. And um, it smells like. Uh, old English furniture polish mm -hmm. is what it smells like to me. And we're going to give this um, felt a couple of spritz, and then that's going to make the bees, they don't like the smell of it, and they'll leave the honey super and go down into the hive. And we'll just put it on top of where the honey is and let it work for about five or ten minutes. And then we can take the box off, brush any remaining bees off, and then take the honey inside to harvest. Sounds good. So that's what we're going to do.
say five to ten minutes? Five maybe? to ten minutes, yeah. So what I was showing you, is I just put this one on a couple weeks ago. Because they were running out of room. Oh, yeah. So see, it's, so it's very new, yeah. And so they just started building on this one. See all that new See, that's stuff? all new wax. See, it looked like this when they got it. And then they, they build it out. And Remember that? They it black. They make it black eventually. So the, when it's brand new, it's white. And the older the furniture gets, the darker it gets. It's black. So I'm going to show you some honey real quick. So you can see what we're at. Wow. See how they capped it? That's a lot. I know. So see how it's oh, see? Now when you first looked at it, it was it was very shiny, like clear. And see how this one over here has turned more of a golden color. And then once they get all the moisture, all the water out, so when they bring in honey, it's real wet. And they'll sit there and they'll fan their wings back and forth over it to dry out the water that's in the nectar. Yeah. So that's why you don't want to harvest. That's nectar, and then over here is the honey. Yeah. But again, since it's not solid, it has to be until it's dry. Yeah. Finally. Look. Look. Okay, we'll get it when I get over here. Just a minute. He is. All right, Miss Tanya, tell us what we're doing. So, um, so when the bees finish the capping the honey, it should be hopefully more than ninety percent capped or hundred percent. Hundred cents what we're aiming for. Like but if we don't have it all the way capped, it's like this one. <laughs> it's got a few open cells, but that's fine. You just don't want a lot of open cells, or else your moisture will be too much and the honey will ferment on you. So now we're just taking um, a standard kitchen fork and we're just lightly scratching the surface of the honeycomb. And that will open up the cells so that when we put it in the extractor over there, it can spin it out. So we're just going one way and then the other, other way. And we only do one side at a time so yep. that the honey don't drip all over our floor. Yep. And then we'll pick it up and we want to face the Honey. open cap side towards us, right? Yep. Put them in the extractor. One more. One more. Alright, so we'll close it down. And just start it real slow. This is an electric um, extractor. So it has an electric motor that spins it. They do have manual ones that you would have to hand crank, which is what I started with. But the more you do, the more you can move up and get better equipment. And so he's just cranking it up real slow because honey, as it's spinning out, weighs a lot. And we don't want it to break our equipment. Up on the sides and eventually.
eventually it'll go all the way to the bottom and we'll run it through this filter just to catch any wax or bee parts and we'll be ready to go. If any drips, clean it up. Okay. <laughs> You're learning, ain't you? You ain't going to leave any for the bees to clean up, are you? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. I see how you are. I, I should have weighed you before we got started. That's right. Eating his weight, honey. That's what I tell my girlfriend. But when I taught her, I said, I should have weighed you before we started. Yeah. Because I didn't know it was going to be that long. Good do your job, son. that out and the bees will well I actually put these right back on the hives oh okay yeah so um some of them I'm going to put right back out on that big hive because uh -huh. you know it still had a whole bunch right. of bees yeah, and then um the uh and just let them, them build off what's there yeah because they'll they'll repair all that and then they'll turn around and start refilling it that's cool so you know you can make stuff out of that comb where you can like make stuff soap. out of this too like soap and lip balms and bee balms and all kinds of stuff so we'll let that drain a little bit more and then Look eventually the we'll put it out for the bees to clean what's so left what's left yeah. you do extract a good bit off of uh-huh you really do you like i said these frames when they're full usually you can get three pounds to maybe five pounds yeah. oh. depends on how thick they draw them out so a quart of honey weighs about 2.75 pounds. Uh -huh. Well, they kind of give you an idea of what you get. We're gonna, I'm gonna open it and you're gonna hold the jar. Give me just a little bit of room. Scoot it down just a little bit. Okay. All right, ready? Hold it still. Just work. All four of them bee stings is in that jar. <laughs> Don't move. Satisfying. <laughs> because it comes out in squares. Alright, so we're getting close. Tell Don't you. move till Miss Tanya tells you, okay? Yeah. You're getting heavy. Mm -hmm. Don't move. Okay, Let me see it. <laughs> Look at that jar. You got honey. the first quart. I want the record to show. So Chance and I have just left Miss Tanya's house and we had the best time extracting honey. Chance did really well and he actually turned it into his own little classroom. And Miss Tanya was so kind to talk to him and Chance asked questions and he re re uh, was comprehending everything she was telling him. And so he did really well and she, she kind of just took him under her wing and made this his little learning lesson. So uh, we're really thankful for that. You got to wear a bee suit for the first time. Yep. And you got stung three times but you were a trooper and you didn't get upset about it. Right here. Miss Tanya told you what what do you do when you get stung or you get nervous? You walk away to the shade far from the boxes of bees. You walk to the shade and get away from the bees. We don't swat at them. If you do, they will sting you. That's right. And the only reason you got stung was because you were in their flight path. It had nothing to do with the movements you were making or anything. And you very calmly walked, walked away. away. 
Yes, we were very proud that you did that. Mm -hmm. So are you happy that you got to come and go with me? Yes, ma'am. Show everybody your jar of honey that we made today. All right. Thank you, Miss Tanya, for letting us come and spend several hours with you at your farm and helping with your bees. We were so cool. thankful that you did. Thank you, Miss Tanya, for letting me come and do this and get some honey.